We spotted this big billy as we were headed out to the stand. I mean, like hunkered up in some tall brush. And right away, we knew we had to go after him. Howdy, folks. Thanks for joining me on another episode. Before we get all the way into this video, I wanted to share the verse of the day with you guys. It comes from Psalms 51, verse 10. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. I love this verse. It has to be one of my absolute all-time favorites. And one of the reasons I love it so much is because it's also... Uh, it makes such a good prayer and I, and I think and I truly believe that it can seriously uh, change your relationship with the Lord. You come to Him humbly uh, to His feet and lay it all down in front of Him and in humble prayer with a humble heart saying, Lord, I can't do this alone. I know that uh, I'm not perfect. I think this is one of those uh, verses that we could pray daily and we could watch it change our relationship with the Lord in a good way and watch it good growth and great things come of it. Um, once again, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. It'd be such a huge help to all of us to maintain that uh, thought process and uh, keep that on the forefront of our mind daily as, as we go through um, our lives. And I think it could really be life-changing for a lot of us. But back to the video, uh, we got into what had to have been some rattlesnake infested three foot tall weeds and just gave it our all for a good hour or 45 minutes whatever it was we we gave it our best shot and moved as quietly as we could Unfortunately, we were picked up. We had a weird swirly wind. Uh, a lot of the time it was like right in our face and then it would just randomly hit us in the back. And so we waited for a, a little bit later in the evening, went hunted with some of the other guys that were on the buggy with us, which this hunt took place with a, a great friend of mine, Mr. John Verhelst, and he brought out a bunch of his employees and we had a phenomenal weekend. So. Uh, we put the sneaks on this ram, or Ibex, Billy, whatever you want to call it. We went and put the sneaks on him, got busted. We were hoping that he would turn around and come back. So what we decided to do was just back out of there and 
we did a little safari style hunt, put an axis doe on the ground. Chances are those four cows aren't going to give us a good look, more than likely. And they're also going to be bred. Just about guarantee you that all four of those cows are going to be bred. When those cows come in, they're, they're more than likely going to push the rest of these animals out and make everything spooky. Okay, just if you can take the axis if you want. You can too if you want. Clear, right? as, soon as, she, as soon as she clears that dough in the back, you pop her. She's clear. Shot. She's gonna go down right there. Right there, right there. Lay down, baby. Here she is. No, she did not. You made a great shot. <laughs> Perfect. Good eating size girl. Congratulations. Thank you. Then we turned around and we came back and we're like, all right, let's go back to that same area where we had first spotted uh, the two Nubian Ibex billies. And lo and behold, there they both are, bedded down up towards the front of the property, just kind of relaxing and doing their own thing. Surprisingly enough, especially after they barked at us. So we came in from the other direction and went for round two. And if you are a first time subscriber or a first time watch person watching uh, thank you for watching and thank you uh, for subscribing my name is bradley and i'm posting content uh, hunting 99 percent of the time some fishing and now a new little series that i'm doing of my wife and i working um, at our property but i say all that to say if you've never watched a video from start to finish on this channel this is the one that you really should watch from start to finish. Uh, our second time in going after this billy worked out for us great. We literally had to crawl on our hands and knees, um, but we made it work and we got in there and it seriously paid off for us. John had a tiny window, I mean like a tiny little window to get an arrow through. 
and the dude just flat pulled it off. I mean, he made an absolute perfect shot. And I would say that I'm impressed, but he does it all the time. And so I'm not impressed. I'm just uh, even more confident <laughs> in him because he's a great shot. But he pulled it off. We actually crawled um, all the way into, I think it was like 18 yards. And that billy was quartered hard to us. And he literally stuck it right through like a hole this big. The fletchings actually were touching some leaves. <laughs> that arrow was passing through those tall weeds. And uh, it didn't affect the flight. He's shooting a little bit heavier arrow. It didn't affect the flight. It was perfect dead nuts. And it went right through and through, passed on through. And that billy ran about 30, maybe 40 yards at the very most. And boom, piled up. He was done. Gosh, and you freaking ten ringed him. <laughs> that was a hard shot, John, and you pulled that off so beautifully. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a freaking Ibex. Woo. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look how beautiful he is. Look at that animal. <laughs> oh my stars. <laughs> Tucked it in tight too. It was the only shot he gave us. Look at that animal. You freaking ten ringed him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. <laughs> wow. This took some serious patience. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll turn him this way. Well, I'll, let's drag him out in the road. I'll drag him out in the road. So we had another successful hunt and successful weekend at the Real McCoy Ranch. This is just uh, one video of two, maybe three that are coming from this uh, past couple of weekends uh, when John had his crew out there at the ranch hunting with us. So there's a lot more footage that's going to be coming from this particular weekend back at the 1st of May. Yes, the 1st of May is when I filmed all this. I'm sorry. I'm getting backed up. I'm getting caught up and <laughs> it's just so much going on i'm gonna keep the videos rolling don't worry about it make sure that you're subscribing and also make sure that you are subscribed and go down to the video link that's in the top of the description it's a video of mine from um, about a month and a half ago i'm giving away a bow for reaching 100,000 subscribers and all the details are in the description as well as um, over in that other video how you can get entered in to win for the hundred thousand followers bow giveaway don't miss out on that and if you guys want to join me for a hunt at the real mccoy ranch all that that information is down in the description below as well check it out see what you think my emails down there instagram social media all that stuff you guys can reach out to me and i will get you set up and booked for a great hunt for a basically whatever uh, you want to hunt we can make it happen we've got loads of exotics lots of hogs and we have some really good whitetail as well of course that'll be a later in the season kind of thing later in the year not season later in the year kind of thing but i don't want you guys to miss out on any awesome hunting opportunities this winter and this fall at the real mccoy ranch because the dates will fill up quick and I will be there to be your personal guide and film your hunt. We will have a phenomenal time. I want to say a huge thanks again to John for coming out and spending the weekend with us and bringing his crew. Those guys were awesome. We all had a blast. And I want you guys to get that same kind of experience. I have some new arrow, eh, arrows. I have some new arrows from the Stock Archery Arrow Company that I can't wait to show you guys. Brand new set fletched up. 
and they're stinking sweet. I'm gonna show them to you, we're gonna shoot them, we're gonna go on a hunt with them, and we're gonna test uh, a broadhead that I haven't tested on the channel before. I wouldn't say I haven't. I have tested them before, uh, but I didn't say much about them. It's a new partnership that I've put together with a company called Sever Broadheads, and I've been shooting the heads for years. And I've got a whole story, a whole backstory on that that's coming up in uh, more than likely in the next video. I want you guys to check that one out. And I have one other partnership that I can't wait to share with you guys as well. As a matter of fact, they just emailed me back. So super exciting stuff coming up and a lot of fun and great content coming up and a hog hunt that's coming up here and just, uh, what's today? Today's Tuesday. I got a hog hunt that I'm gonna be posting at the end of the week on Friday or Saturday and it's it's nuts. Uh, one of the craziest hog hunts that I've ever seen or been a part of and <laughs> you guys gotta check it out. Top three craziest for me coming up Friday and or Saturday. Be sure that you're subscribed, hit that notification bell. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in literally just a few days.